together of Bioware and LucasArts again, I think is an, a reinforcement of what has been um, a shared heritage. Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic was a huge hit. It was a big, big thing for Bioware. I mean, probably one of the most moving things that we've ever had was to step out in front of the Game Developers Conference and get the Game of the, game of the Year award from our peers for that game. And unlike Knights of the Old Republic 1 and Knights of the Old Republic 2, this will take you to a place that's deeper and broader and introduce you to more characters than any of the other games ever created by both LucasArts and Bioware. Star Wars The Old Republic is really a chance for us to create the ultimate Star Wars game. It's a game that allows you to live in the Star Wars universe. We've wanted to build a massively multiplayer game at Bioware for probably over a decade now. And of course, our experience working with LucasArts on the Knights of the Old Republic franchise is a natural combination. It's something, you know, we think it's just a perfect fusion to build an MMO in the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic space. And what we're doing is we're taking some of the best of breed features from other MMOs, exploration and combat progression. And we're not losing any of those. Instead, what we're doing is we're adding a fourth pillar, the pillar of story and character. This game takes place in the, in the period of the Old Republic, thousands of years before the rise of Darth Vader. This is a rich period in the, in the Star Wars lore where Sith and Jedi are, are constantly at one another and there's constant conflict. So what you're about to see is some early pre-production footage. It's very exclusive for you, the fans. We haven't shown it to anyone else yet and we're very excited about it. The MMO industry in general has been trying to solve story in their in our games for a long time. And I think with, with Tor, what we're doing is we're putting story at the forefront of your experience where every one of your decisions is impactful to, to your end goal and your character progression. And part of the story thing that's very interesting from our perspective is adding choice. Typically online games don't have a lot of choice. You do whatever is in front of you. But in this game, you get to choose to do things. a huge dramatic choice comes up. You're sitting there looking at it and realizing you can't save it and reload it and say, hey, I wonder what would have happened the other direction. These are real choices that are gonna make real impact on the story and where your narrative goes that you have to live with forever. For the first time in an MMO, every one of your choices is going to matter. All your decisions will guide your, your path towards the light or the dark side. Companion characters have always been a huge part of Bioware games, and they're also a big part of the Star Wars mythos. And so we felt that they were going to be very important to our game. And what the companion character is going to allow for is it's going to allow us to tell stories in a different manner, to allow for a player to have another voice um, before he makes a decision. His companion character will actually be his moral compass. You know, there's a lot of things that, you know, the companion characters also have their own stories, their own interests, and things that you can help them pursue. Or, you know, depending on which side of the force you sit on, you can, like, help them and support them, or you can manipulate them. Rather than approach, approach the game, Star Wars Little Public, from a you know, harsh realism perspective, we wanted to create what we call stylized realism. We went with stylized realism because we kind of uh, want to have a timeless quality to our art. We wanted to essentially be something that could fit into any era. We also wanted to be very heroic. We didn't want to look like anything else that was out there. Um, it was a time where the next gen games were all hitting and, and, and as great as they look, they all start to look alike because they all look like reality. Uh, so it was really about choosing something that was going to be our own. It's going to be really exciting to be part of uh, the online community for this game because this game is so huge. It's got such a giant scope. This game has got more content than every Bioware game that uh, we've created put together. We're really focused on uh, fast-paced, action-oriented combat. We're working very hard to make sure that everybody, no matter your playstyle, will have something to do in the Old Republic. We have a lot of great stuff that's still in the pipe we haven't shown yet. It's, uh, we've kind of alluded to it, teased a bit, but when we get to show it, I think you'll understand why we're so excited about the Old Republic at Bioware and LucasArts and EA. It's, I think it's going to be the best thing Bioware's ever done. It's our, it's our biggest project, and we're really excited about it. Yeah.